Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I have some more uh, birthday tags in here, I believe. Um, this one is from, sorry, I looked and then I covered it and I can't remember, Michelle. So Michelle made this one, so I'm gonna move uh, Tammy's out of the way. So let's see here. I want to cut this open, but not cut anything. Oh yes, I can see with my with my handy dandy little light. And then after I show you guys these, we'll go on to the video because I already did the video again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. I was like, is it gonna come out? All right, I think I got all the things. Okay, so very nice uh, paper. I think this was just to go around it, but I will use it. So it's paper, right? <laughs> it will get used. And it's got the little flex in it. I like that. Very nice envelope. Oh, it's a, it's a Gail Augustinelli. 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 <laughs> um, faux front envelope. Sorry, Gail. <laughs> Just just hacked your name there. Um, very cool. I love these. It's so fun. And I forget to make them. I've made like uh, big, huge ones out of um, manila file folder and stuff like that. They're, yeah, they're super fun to make. So she has filled it up with all kinds of little goodies. These are so cute, Michelle. I love these faux stamps. I don't have a very good, I mean, I have a good decal for just a decal edge, but not for like... A stamp edge if you know what I mean so I don't ever make these but they're really cool and fun to use on stuff and kitty cat very fun oh look at that king puck that is a cool one I just like the colors and stuff it's just very neat these are great and I love how you have, um, you know put the the price on there and stuff that's super fun it's so cute. <laughs> I love those tiny little Tim Holtz people. Put these back in here. Very cute. Thank you, thank you. And then there's more of them in here. Birds and, oh, cool, mushrooms. I can use that in the journal I'm working on now. And butterflies. These are so cute. Oh, I see. Uh, the Eiffel Tower upside down. I was like, what is that? It's little teacups and the Eiffel Tower and a clock flowers and a bunny so adorable you have been a busy busy girl I love that and this is very cool as well nice yeah those are super fun thank you so much for sharing those with me that is so sweet I really really appreciate it I love these envelopes and then you just tuck that in there And here is the tag. Oh, isn't that fun? And she's put one of my frames on there. Very cool. <laughs> Clarinet players. Thank you for signing it and everything, too. I love, wow, this is very nicely coffee-dyed paper, too. The color is great. So cool. Love it. Thank you so much. I like that a lot. It was very cool. So that will go with all the other ones. And eventually I will start hooking these all together. Probably after I finish my frog journal that I got going on. So set that there. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. That was super sweet of you. Love it. All right. And this one's from my friend Tammy at Lou Fru Fru Studio. Oh, very cool. I'll show you her tag. She has a very cool tag. Oh my gosh, look at that. She does really outstanding work. I mean, so cool. I've never done one of these zipper tags before. That is really neat. Let's see if I can get the plastic up in here. I just cannot believe I'm going to be 50 for crying out loud. But isn't that just so fun? Oh my goodness, I love it, Tammy. That zipper on there so you guys the little zipper pulls down here and then there's the two sides of the zipper I've never done one of these one of these days I'm gonna have to try it it's very cool but this is her tag and she is on um, 
YouTube and she has an Etsy shop. So definitely check her out because she makes, you know, things like this, um, tags or journaling cards, pockets, whatever, and sells them in her shop. So definitely, go, I mean, like, I don't know if it's this exact one, but I love that sticks back there. That is just super cool. Thank you. Thank you. Both just awesome, amazing, amazing tags. So thank you guys so much. That is so fun. See, they'll just be so fun together. So interesting. Yeah. Thank you. All right, now let's go on to the video. Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today, uh, Monday for you guys, and um, I don't know what day it is. <laughs> This is the problem when you're trying to film ahead and do things. I don't know. Anyways, it is Wednesday. That's right for me. So anyways, just um, trying to get some videos done because I'm going to be gone for the weekend and all that. So um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. So what we're going to do today is play with some bug stamps. And these I got from In Love Arts Shop. It's online. In Love Arts and Crafts, I think it is. So that's where I got those. It's been a while since I got those. So anyways, and I wanted to show you where we're at with this as well, because I did do one um, part by myself because uh, I just, that's just how it all worked out. So <laughs> what I have done is the other side of the postcard page. So I um, did the same thing that I did on the front stitched around the postcard and then tore the fabric out from the middle portion and then down here I have added just um, like a little notepad of different papers and things and up here is just a cluster of um, fabrics this is a bug that we're gonna we're gonna make some of these today and then that's just like a little measuring tape I have and I have stitched this whole section of page together this was not an easy task and what I will tell you if you um, venture to make one of these type of things is um, definitely be mindful of where you're putting an, um, your ephemera pieces and how high they are. I wouldn't recommend going right up to the top because you'll see there's a few places where I got super duper close to the edge stitching just because I was really scared of like hitting up like right here is very close to the edge. It's just hard when you're running it through the sewing machine and there's these things on both sides at a certain height because all you can think of is I'm going to sew them down shut, you know, because I can only see one side at a time when I'm doing this. So <laughs> it, it's more of a mind over matter thing, really. But um, yeah, I would just recommend like these. This page was a breeze because, well, I mean, this is a little bit close and I did kind of weave down too close here because I was worried about stitching through this and making it closed. So anyway, <clears throat> just something to think about if you do something like this, that maybe things around this height or so, you know, this kind of thing is a little bit better, a little bit easier to sew around. So anyway, um, I don't think I did anything else. I did add like a stamp here of a little ant. I think somewhere else... You guys will have seen this part. Oh, I did put another one of the bugs like we're gonna do today right here. And I added this number that's just on some craft paper and the same thing with this guy, he's on craft paper too. Um, there, um, I think we did all of this together. Let me see what I did in here. Yeah, we did that together. Okay. So I will show you, I mean, I'm sure, obviously, it's not rocket science, how to do these bugs. And um, I also kind of am wanting to show that technique again of using the Tim Holtz ink, just in case, you know, somebody might want to use it that didn't really catch it with the collage video. So that is all stitched together. This is a page that I'm attempting to work on. I did the same technique to this bag sort of that I'm going to do um, for the paper for the bugs. I shrunk down my uh, <clears throat> CD case covers like Carol Laws has done in her videos. She's made them little tucks. I did go ahead and put some um, tracing paper in here instead of making them little tucks, but of course make them little tucks if you want to. That's a great idea. 
Uh, so yeah, I just kind of got some stuff together that I will work on for that. Just not right at this minute. So how you all doing? <clears throat> I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Uh, what I have done is kind of like I showed you or talked about when I did the video um, for the collage. All I do is take the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide, the oxide, not the ink, and I put it um, down on my, this is just waxed deli paper. You could use wax paper. You could use parchment paper. You could use tracing paper. Anything that when it gets wet, it'll bead like those little tiny beads. And I kind of hold my water up high. And this is a real fine just spritzer. But you can see, it, I think you can see it. I hope you can see. It just gets little itty bitty beadlets of water and color on there. So that's just kind of fun when you're um, like, we're going to do bugs. So it's just kind of a perfect thing. And what I'm going to do first, instead of the craft paper, I have this old book page that I'm going to use first just to see, you know, how it comes out. This I haven't let dry all the way, but it has um, sat for probably 15 minutes while I've just been getting things together and things like that. So I am going to go ahead and try it. I think it'll probably probably work, but you're just not pushing down super hard because if you press really hard, they're all going to just flatten out and then it'll just kind of be a blob on there so you just want to lightly touch them and that one oh it did work <clears throat> the lighter paper might come out a little bit better than the depending on what you want the effect to be So basically the same thing we did on our white paper for the collage, but I just wanted to show you kind of how I do it. And I really do think it needs to kind of set for um, at least a few minutes to start to dry, even if it's not drying completely. It just helps um, keep that kind of circular bead, beaded up form when you uh, touched your paper to it. Cause see that one wasn't quite, didn't get to sit as long. That's the one I just did and sprayed. So it kind of made more of a blob. Whereas these ones have sat for a while and see how they give you a little bit more of a speckly look. So yeah, just another kind of technique with Tim Holtz ink and somebody else could have already done this. I have no idea. I mean, heck, you know, we all end up kind of using the same things and whatnot so I'm gonna spritz this just a little more just because I'm running out I'm not gonna have time to let it set but just to kind of I just need a little more color on there I think but you can use whatever paper you want you could use white paper um, you can use scraps of papers I mean, obviously, like, I wouldn't pick something with a whole lot of print because you're probably not going to see a whole lot of this if you do that. But, um, yeah, just however, come kind of in the middle here. I keep getting the blob. Okay, so I'm going to probably put a little more ink on here. Let's go ahead and do that just so you can see. And I'm just, just like we do on the Tim Holtz, um, you know, the mat or his glass <clears throat> board or whatever you want to call it. Oh, I need a paper towel. I want to get the blue off of here. I don't want to put my rusty hinge down. Oh, that's what I needed to tell you guys too. I'm using rusty hinge, twisted citron, which is that color. Um, Mermaid Lagoon is the turquoise color and Walnut Stain on this mat. And then I will let that sit a little bit while I get this other piece dry. I'll come back and we can do some stamping of <coughs> bugs or numbers or whatever we decide to stamp. Okay, I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I'm back. And I have these pieces that um, my friend Gloria sent with her tag that she sent me. 
that I showed you guys Friday. And so I'm going to go ahead and do those too, just to, and like I said, this may not have sat really long enough. It did not. Yeah, it's not working as good, but it'll still make cool looking bugs, I think. And you can keep adding layers. That's the other thing I was going to say. Like if you wanted to with this one that's dry, you could add more layers to it. <clears throat> Got a little speckly. Yeah, it really works best if you can just let it set for, you know, like that 15 minutes really seemed to do the trick. It doesn't have to be entirely dry. It just needs time to kind of let those beads almost form like a kind of a skin around themselves so that when you touch them, they don't squash quite as much. Okay, and then here's uh, more of a craft colored paper, which is what I was going to use, but we'll just use this since it's more in a scrap size. So see, that's kind of starting to get more of the speckles. And you probably can do this on that glass mat um, of Tim Holtz. I do have one, but it um, glares so awful with the lights that I don't tend to use it when I'm videoing. I use it other times, but... I don't use it a whole lot when I'm doing videos because it will blind you. I don't know how other people get theirs to not have very much glare because I always feel like it's just obnoxious. <clears throat> I'm just going to do it. Tiny bit more. And I found if I hold the water further away, I don't get quite as much of that. You get more of the dappling of the water instead of big blotches, if that makes sense. And it does tend to dry pretty fast on like the cardstock here because, you know, it's just a tiny bit of water. It's not like a whole bunch. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been struggling with my asthma. <laughs> I finally have gotten my hands feeling a little bit better. <laughs> and um, what I am taking for that, I, I tried the herbs and the herbs, my stomach and the herbs did not get along. So that didn't work. Um, but I thank my aunt so much for trying to help me with that. And then... Uh, what I've basically come to is I take a joint compound from Costco, just their one of their joint things that you can just buy over the counter. So you could probably get a version of it really anywhere. And um, meloxicam, which is what the doctor prescribed. Um, so I can't take any Advil or any aspirin or any of that so if you have to do that every day obviously these are all things that you're going to have to get from your doctor and talk to your doctor about but you guys asked what if I figure out what works for me if I would tell you so I'm telling you <clears throat> and then I just take like a vitamin B complex um, I take a multivitamin every day just a regular multivitamin um I yeah, I just take all kinds of vitamins, actually, but a lot of that doesn't have anything to do with the joint thing. But whatever the combination is, it's worked great, so I'm feeling a lot better. I mean, it it hurts. Like, I have pain, but it's nowhere. I mean, it was getting to where I couldn't even, like, do that, like, a soft touch on my finger without, you know, kind of wincing. <clears throat> so I'll take it. All right, so this is just another piece that you can see has glue all over it. I just put that down so if I stamp off, I'm not, um, you know, making a mess all over. I need to find some kind of block. I don't have any blocks. That was something I did not look for before I started. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna, I don't think I did it with a block the other day anyway, so I'm just 
do it without. <clears throat> so anyway, take your little bugs if you have them, and you can get these bugs. You don't just have to have Tim Holtz like these aren't Tim Holtz. I mean, obviously his are super cool, but um, just use whatever you've got. And then you just want to stamp it. They just kind of are cool to add to places because like you can see when you look at the ones I did, these are a couple. I just trimmed around them. I didn't, and they're kind of hard to see probably on camera, but um, in real life they're easier to see. There's like a moth and then that big beetle. It's just kind of a fun little thing to add to, <clears throat> you know, different pieces, a tag or whatever. Uh, let's see what else do we want to do. Maybe a dragonfly. I'm just really enjoying having these bits and pieces to add places. I just think they add a lot. So let's try to get him over here. Um, you could add them to clusters. Um, like I said, tags, journaling cards. Oops, I didn't get his wing very good. <clears throat> Wherever you want. Wherever we use all the things we use, right? This is a lot easier to see than the, than the darker craft paper like these. And we'll do that beetle again. This big, big old beetle. And obviously, if you don't like bugs, I mean, you could do this with butterflies, which is still technically a bug, I guess, but you know what I'm saying. Like, if you don't like these kind of bugs, you can do butterflies, dragonflies, bumblebees. You could, you know, do it with just yellows and maybe some black and do a bee. That would be really kind of cool. So let's see, that comes out really neat. And let's see, what else do we want to do? I like, I kind of am liking the beetles just because, I don't know, for some reason with the frogs, it just seems like it goes pretty good. <clears throat> So yeah, spring and my asthma goes crazy, so that's pretty normal for me. Okay, there's that one. And then maybe a butterfly. And then I think I'm also going to do some of these numbers and things because those were super fun. Just um, cut out like these <clears throat> things like this, just added places. Those are just off of these Tim Holtz um, ticket things. I just am doing getting ink on the number part or, you know, just part of it instead of the whole thing. So if you don't have like a particular number stamp. And these are Tim Holtz Ticket Booth. CMS337. As all those are. And they have all kinds of numbers and things on them. Like that's that one. There. And then somebody asked about my, these ones are just staples. Um, this one's a date one, obviously you can see the dates, but this one was just numbers and it's just their brand. These aren't anything fancy or expensive or anything. They're just their sort of generic, um, I don't know what you call those, rolly stamps. <laughs> That's the technical term, right? Oh, it's a rolly stamp, duh. But yeah, it just adds something, and I think that's kind of really cool with the speckles and the dots. What else? Put this beetle guy on there. So 
See if you're a wreck like me and you can't ever find anything. <laughs> then you can just use these stamps as they are. I mean, obviously, probably a lot smarter to have a block, but I know what I did with it. So I moved a little bit. You guys probably saw me do that. And we can put some little ants. That's what the big ant. Here. <laughs> I think those are fun. <clears throat> okay, so these I'm gonna set back on here before I lose something. Where did this? Oh, right there. I need. Jeez. Sometimes. Okay. And ants. And then I just cut them out simple as that. And ta-da, you have an embellishment for wherever you like. So these you could do more square if you wanted. But you could keep adding layers of the speckles, you know, if you wanted it to be more, you know, more colors. And I can't cut straight ever, so these are very not straight. But I think they're cool, especially with this kind of nature-y, science -y, whatever. Not that real labels would have this all this on it, but that's what we do, right? <clears throat> and then these I'm just going to kind of get out of the paper. And then I will... So I just went real rough around them. Because I want to leave some of that color. I don't want to just cut away all that color, you know. Plus, it's just easier to just do it real quick like that. And then ink around the edge. It's a fun little thing. I really like this one. Because those wings, the way they... Um, drew that or whatever it's there's a lot of open space so you can really see the speckles really well so that's very fun just make sure you're using the distress oxides I think they are better for this type of thing with the water because you know they oxidize and that gives you just cool effects with it I'm gonna go around this a little bit more, just so you can tell the difference between his um, antenna and his leg there. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what to do with that bag. But I did the bag. It was a coffee dyed glassine bag. And I got them. Um, you can get them on Amazon. Just look up glassine bags. They come in all different sizes. I don't really know what size that is. So I'm sorry. It's like. Um, I'm guessing roughly almost 5 by 7 I don't think it's quite 5 by 7 But anyway. <clears throat> you can get them all different sizes. I coffee dyed it first. And then just did the same exact thing that I did to this paper to it. And I did several layers so that um, uh, I can't think. Oh, so that it would really get grungy. <laughs> wow, that was real rough, Amy. <clears throat> not funny how when you're doing something else your brain just totally cannot I'm normally not that dingy honestly <laughs> bad okay so I'll just get I'll get that out and we'll do something with these <clears throat> but yeah I would stamp the rest of those papers I don't need to I don't think I need to sit here and stamp all the papers you're Got the concept, I'm sure. Get those off of there. Okay. 
All right, so like I was saying, it was coffee dyed. And then I dipped it multiple times. First colors, I did all the colors and let it dry. Um, I didn't really get the speckly effect because it was pretty wet. But then later I went back and I did the um, walnut stain. And what I did for the walnut stain is I just kind of put it on and spritzed it way up high like I did. And that gave me more of the speckly look that I was wanting. So, yeah. That's how I got that. <clears throat> so maybe we can decorate this. I was kind of thinking it might be fun to do something with these, but it might be something with these on a different page. I think I'll set those aside. But I thought it would be kind of fun to have that maybe. And then I thought one of these Tim Holtz guys might be kind of neat because it could be like, you know, the scientist. This is his journal or whatever. I don't know if I want the house or not. I thought the house might be kind of cool, but I couldn't get it. To look right if I do the house I want to do the same technique on it and then I just wanted a piece of this this is just a kids math workbook page that I put um, sewing tissue over the top glued sewing tissue over the top to you know kind of age it a little bit I just thought it might be kind of neat across here Just work with me. I mean, I don't know what any of all this has to do with each other, honestly. I just like the look of some of these things together. I like numbers. <clears throat> I mean, that's a sciencey thing. But, yeah, it's not... I don't really care that it's not all to do with specifically maybe being a naturalist or whatever. <laughs> I just... I just like the look of all of it together, so... Anyhow, I hope that's not bugging anybody. That I put so many different random things together. <clears throat> it's just the way I like it. I kind of feel like with junk journals, there's no real right or wrong, and you can totally bring all different randomness together, and somehow it ends up making sense. Uh, it's just part of the art of it, I feel like. And I think I am going to use that, so I think I will. That's just one of my houses um, that you can get in my shop. I cut them on my Glowforge, so it's sort of like a die cut in a way, except it's cut with a laser. And this is from my... I believe that's Ribbit is what that one's in. <clears throat> so yeah, let's do some inking to this real quick. I think I've got enough ink on here still. Sorry, my belt's rubbing on the table because I'm leaning. If you hear, rah, 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 that's what it is. <laughs> Because I always have to lean. I can't just stand here, right? Okay. <clears throat> Got ink all over me. Now, I would normally, obviously, let this dry. But I'm going to just... Didn't quite get the speckly effect that I wanted. I think we're going to have to add some more. <clears throat> I apologize for the throat. Unfortunately, not a lot I can do about it. I know I drove you guys nuts last year with it. 
And it's that time of the year again. And I do take allergy tablets. I do, I do. Because a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, go to the doctor. It's like, well, the problem is the doctor really has no answers for me. <laughs> other than do all the stuff that I do, so... I mean, if you can wait and let the speckles work, I think they're kind of cool. Like, I mean, you can see them for sure. They just work better if you can let it set longer. But just barely touch it. Don't like totally mush it into the paper. This one's very wet anymore. Or it's just losing its <clears throat> ah. okay. so that needs to get dry. <clears throat> Maybe we'll go back and make a few more of these just for time wasting sake. <laughs> Uh, it's either that or I'm going to have to stop and go dry those, so we'll just do this a little bit more. Sorry for the plastic crunching. This one's kind of cool. I mean, they're all cool, but let me put my... You guys see it, right? Where is it? What? Oh my goodness, Amy. It's right there. <clears throat> Set it somewhere different and you're lost. Lost for days. I could do the no right there too, but I'll just do the number right here. And even though there's part of the frame, I don't care. I like it. This one, I actually think I'll do the whole thing once too. some bugs too while we're at it. This is a bee, but that's okay. Definitely shows up better on the lighter paper for sure. So you might want to use lighter paper just depending on the look you're going for. <laughs> He's a little bit cartoony in a way. But you can see him good on there because there's no whole lot of black on him. Let's do this moth up here. Yeah, that's turning out cool because that's really oxidizing a lot. Yeah, that one's cool too. And you could make it oxidize further if you um, like sprayed this with water. So you know this one has a lot more black to it, so it's not going to come out with a whole lot of the speckles. But it looks neat. I still like it, especially if you cut around it and leave it some space. <clears throat> it will um, show up. This one I'm going to cut right along the edge with it since it's got all that in there. I don't know what brand these scissors are. I just got these at, um, on Amazon. I've had a lot of people asking me for specific brands of scissors. My um, arthritis ones are Fiskars. These ones don't bother me because they're so tiny. Uh, it's the big scissors that bug me, but um, these ones are fine. 
because half the time I don't end up even touching anywhere near where it's where the arthritis is. But yeah, those those ones without this part on them are arthritis scissors and those are Fiskars. <clears throat> He cracks me up because his eyes are so dark and the rest is not. It just reminds me of like googly eyes. That's why I think he makes me think he's cartoonish. Because of his big googly eyes. All right, I think my house is dry enough. It turned out really cool, see? It's very uh, oxidized, which is awesome. And I think I wanna put like a number or something on it. <clears throat> something, something. I really use this one. It's got these funny little boxes and stuff. I'm going to try to just sort of do this kind of thing. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we'll find out. And again, I don't know why. <laughs> why did you put that there like that? I don't know. I just did. <laughs> Because I like the effect. Okay. I don't know. Kind of went off a little more than I wanted to there. Um, okay, I think that's good. <clears throat> Might just try to get some of these lines over here. Very random. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm not gonna attach this yet because I'm not sure exactly how I want it. I'm just gonna work on the bag itself. So, here's the glue book that's buried. Got too many things out here. I'm making a mess. I think this will be fine with um, this glue. Scotch create permanent glue stick. I find it sticks very well, even fabric, believe it or not. I don't know how long it would last. I always end up stitching it, but I'm just saying it, it definitely works. <clears throat> Our gentleman here, I think I'm probably going to use Art Glitter Glue just because it's that, um, what do you call that, board, like chipboard almost. 
See, now this is going to kind of sink into the background. So I'm going to go around the edges with some black just to sort of outline it. I mean, it's still going to sink in a bit, but it's just adding a layer. I think I, that's how I want that. Yeah, I like it. Well, I'm gonna put that on with art glitter glue too, just cause it's thicker. Keeps getting little like, oh, I think there is actually a hair caught on there, but little glue globs coming out of the glue, which I've never had it do before. I don't know if it's just the time of year, but I've used our glitter glue for a long time. <clears throat> Probably because I just keep adding glue to it, huh? Probably needs a whole new redo <laughs> right it's been messed with long enough cover up my bag totally because I like it. I mean, I practically am, but like that. I could put a bug. One of our bugs. I think I like that. Okay, so let's get him glued down. He needs to go. I'm just trying to get a visual for that. needs an edge around it too. <clears throat> Do you think I ever inked around that particular bug? Where did I put? I'm using our glitter glue again. Since it has to stick to the Tim Holtz paper doll. I'm not going to worry about gluing the um, tissue.
good little altered bag to put something in. I like how you can see the blue on the bag behind the window there. It's kind of cool. Oh, it scared me. My son's home <laughs> from school. It's just real quiet, and then all of a sudden the garage door, boom. I'm going to put this number over here, maybe. Yeah, I like that. Maybe this way, something different. Okay, so there's my bag, decorated with some of the goofy little bugs and things. <laughs> but yeah, I just think they add something kind of fun. Did I, I didn't do anything on different on that one. That's my toad abode. I just stuck that in there because I thought it was fun. But I have my little ant. And there's one of our bugs, and there's one of those labels on paper, and another one there. So yeah, it's just fun to add those little touches like that. I think they're a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope it, um, you know, brought you a new idea or whatever. And we will chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.